I'm Bear Grylls, and I'm going to show you what it takes to survive in some of the most dangerous places on Earth. Woo! I'm going to have to make it through a week of challenges in places where you wouldn't last a day without the right survival skills. This week I'll be at Menlo School, showing you how to survive in such a desolate environment. So I've just arrived here at Menlo School and as you can see it is completely desolate, absolutely no sign of life. Uh, I know there are some indigenous people around these parts but other than that we don't see much signs of humanity. Uh, so right away I'm going to want to get some hydration, quench my thirst and I'm going to need to get some nutrition. So uh, we've got to go hunt to get some food and tonight I'll build a shelter. Um, it's going to get dark very quickly, so let's get moving right away, it's vital. So right now I'm going to scavenge for some food. I'm catching a strange scent coming northeast, and uh, I'm going to try and go find some food. Oh, look, I found some. This is uh, indigenous dung from the South African guano bat. Uh, it is high in protein and calcium, and I'm going to eat it. Uh, mm. That is good. That is good dung. Very tasty. It's flavorful. You know, good texture. A little pungent, a little smelly, but it's okay. That's good nutrition and it'll keep me moving for the rest of the day. I have found a spring. It's completely natural, created by the elements. Um, I'm going to go have a drink, uh, rehydrate. It's good to stay hydrated. Mmm. 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 That's good. I'm going to store some of that, store some of that in my water bottle uh, and that'll be great for me later. So uh, let's get some and let's get out of here. It's getting late. So as you can see, uh, the power of the wind, the water and the elements over thousands of years have created a uh, cave and uh, I'm going to have to enter this cave. I'm not sure where it leads. It's very unstable, I'm assuming. Uh, just a small earthquake could bring it down to the ground, crushing me. Uh, but let's have a look. I'm going to look for some food and some shelter. So I'm traversing down a cave. Uh, not sure where it leads, but rumors are there's some local indigenous people that are around here and they're very violent. So we're just going to see how it goes. I think I've spotted a few over here. Uh, they seem friendly right now, but I'm not sure what they're up to. Let's keep moving. Ah, we see a few right here. Stay low, stay downwind. Um, up, oh, they're approaching. I'm not sure if they're friendly or angry. Shh. Don't just, he's getting closer. Okay, we gotta run, we gotta run. Get out of here, go. We gotta keep moving. Let's get out of here as soon as we can. The very violent indigenous people, we need to leave now. So I've stumbled upon a, a very strange uh, structure built by the natives here. Um, I'm not sure what it's used for, but I'm going to have a look. So I've managed to find some food, uh, or what looks like food. As you can see, uh, the indigenous tribes of the Menlo community have obviously left this here in an attempt for me to eat it. It's definitely very poisonous. You do not want to eat any of this. Uh, you know, this right here, this is actually a uh, North African peach apple. Uh, I once ate one of these, almost died, lost both my legs, uh, but I recovered very quickly and uh, it, it was bad. So you do not want to eat any of this. If you see a lot of food lying around, it's most likely a trap laid by the Menlo community. It's gotten very late and uh, I've managed to make myself some shelter. I can't show you it because it's very dark, um, but it's quite good. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna have to stay warm, you know, keep my vital signs high. Um, I've gotten some nutrition. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing some hunting of freshmen to get some sustenance. Uh, but right now, I'm just gonna try and get some shut eye, get rested for tomorrow. That so here we see a freshman, very immature, kind of small but he's trying to mate 
with uh, another freshman female. He's not suspecting me at all. He doesn't smell me. I'm downwind and uh, I'm going to capture him. Let's go. He's dead. I'm going to roast him, cook him over in a fire. That's going to be good nutrition. Pound for pound, he has more protein in him than fish, filet mignon, anything you can think of. So I'm going to go eat him and I'm out of here. So right now, right now I'm going to try and get out of the Menlo community. But this is a very dangerous place. Uh, as you can see, the natives are driving around completely oblivious to me. And if I try and cross, I could definitely get hurt. Uh, I could be hit by a car. Uh, worst things could happen. Uh, I'm going to try and cross it, so we're going to be very careful. Stay right on my behind. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh, this car's coming. We're going so quickly, it gets a little disorientated. Don't try this one at home, kids. So I've managed to lash myself together. A very rudimentary vehicle. Uh, we'll see, hopefully it works. It's just made out of some twigs, some branches, some stones and pebbles. So I worked on this for a few minutes and I'm gonna see if it can take me out of here. We're good to go. I've got it working. Let's get out of here. Thank you.